So you're thinking about doing some intermittent fasting, but you read some things online or heard from a friend that, hey, when you skip a meal, when you fast, it's gonna slow down your metabolism and you're going to go on this starvation mode. Is that necessarily true? In this video, I'm gonna break down what exactly happens with the metabolism when you begin intermittent fasting. Let's do this. What's up Keto Camper? Ben Azadi here, certified functional health practitioner, best-selling author of three books. Here at Keto Camp, we are on a mission to educate and inspire one billion people on planet Earth. I'm grateful that you're spending part of your day with me here. I'm here in beautiful Miami, Florida at Keto Camp HQ. Now the popular question I get asked is, doesn't skipping a meal slow down the metabolism? There's something really fascinating in the human body when you begin to fast. And this process is the answer to your question here of does intermittent fasting slow down your metabolism? The answer is something called counter-regulatory hormones. These are specific hormones that run counter to insulin. So what exactly does that mean? I'm going to break it down for you in easy to follow steps right here. So please pay attention, take some notes. This is going to be very helpful for you to understand what's going on in the body when you fast. When we eat food, we stimulate glucose and insulin. When we do that, we're in a fed state. We're storing food energy. When we do not eat food, like when we practice intermittent fasting, we don't raise glucose and insulin, so glucose and insulin is low. Then we have these counter-regulatory hormones that go up when insulin is down. These counter-regulatory hormones are glucagon, epinephrine, cortisol, human growth hormone, and what's going on here is that the body is activating its sympathetic tone. Because here's what the body does. It is so remarkable, the way that we were created. The body starts to think, oh crap, we haven't eaten food in 16 hours, 20 hours. That must mean there is a famish in our environment, and we need to pump the body full of energy to go out there into the wild to hunt and kill our next meal in order to stay alive. See, the body does not know that we are blessed enough to have food readily available to us in our refrigerator, in the supermarket. Heck, we could go on our phone and hit the Uber Eats app, press a button, 30 minutes later, we have a millennial knocking on our door with some delicious food. But the body doesn't know that. See, we are hardwired for the old school. We have 70 trillion cells in the body, and all of them are hardwired for feast famine cycles. So the body starts to actually get very clever by increasing your focus, your energy levels, your fat burning, in order for you to go out there and hunt and kill your next meal. But the ultimate hack here is that you're not gonna do that because you have food that you could get whenever you want. So instead, you're gonna use all that energy, all the focus to crush your day, to feel good, to have a great day at work, to crush a sales call, whatever it is that you're doing, to crush a workout, you're gonna have more energy and focus to do so when you intermittent fast. So the question now is asked, but doesn't your metabolism slow down? No, because what's happening here with the sympathetic tone, these counter-regulatory hormones, it's actually speeding up your metabolism. And in fact, the study showed a 13% increase in the metabolism after four days of a water fast. This means the body is not slowing down the metabolism, it is actually increasing it. So the next time, one of your friends tells you about this mythical starvation mode or that you're going to slow down your metabolism when you practice fasting, let them watch this video, ask them if they know anything about counter-regulatory hormones, and they're gonna look at you like, what's that? If you wanna learn more about fasting and how to do it the right way, I have my Fasting Cheat Sheet, which is a best-selling book. I answer the top 20 questions on fasting, back it up with science, back it up with answers to help you on your fasting journey. Head over to fastingcheatsheet.com. Go claim that for free. Learn more about fasting. And if you want to take your fasting and keto results to a level that's never been before, I'd love to show you the way. In the Keto Camp Academy, we have a ton of videos and content designed to teach you how to do such. You also get a monthly coaching call 
from me, you can learn more over at ketocampacademy.com. And I'm going to get to the YouTube comment here, but before I do, make sure you check out the notes before. I'm gonna put a reference for that study I mentioned about the 13% increase in metabolism down below in the notes, so check those out. The YouTube comment of the day comes from Robin Street. Hey Robin, she says, Ben, I'm a new subscriber and I thank you for explaining the science of it all. This helps me get to the source of the problem and not just treat the symptoms. She's referring to the video I did recently about how to treat inflammation in the body, how to identify inflammation, what exactly is it and what to do about it. I'll also put a link for that down below and I'll put a note for it in the cards up above here. I also have a fasting playlist for you to watch on the YouTube channel, so I'll also put that in the notes up above and down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.